Okay, well things really quieted off on the lake there. I've seen it happen so many times when fishing on the top that as soon as that sun gets up and hits the water, it just dies. So what I decided to do is actually, I am gonna go and fish the river. Uh, you can walk there from here. I know I said I wouldn't, but actually it was about 10 days since I saw any spawning fish. And um, yeah, if I go there and I see anything, I can always stop fishing, but it kind of feels like since I'm here anyway, I might as well give it a couple of hours and I've caught chub just down here. So yeah, that would be nice. And um, I must admit catching that fish with the gill missing or the gill cover missing did kind of put me off a little bit. So yeah, I feel like I've caught my fish there, four carp in a nice tench, brilliant. One of them a good double, all off the top, apart from a tench, of course. Man, <laughs> that's a great morning. So yeah, I probably won't catch on the river, but I'm, I'm already really happy. We'll give it a go. I've not got a lot of the stuff I would normally use. I've not got my magic paste, but I've got some pellets, I've got some boilies and a couple of hook links tied up. So yeah, let's at least try it while we're here. <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna give it an hour here and then possibly another hour a bit further upstream. Yeah, just a couple of eight mils, bit of pop up on the top there to keep it on. And there's not a lot of current here, so I quite fancy that picking it up off the bottom, wafting around a bit. Small PVA bag and a three ounce lead on a clip. Really simple. I'm just gonna move one spot upstream of myself. See lots of dark shapes moving around out here. I think the chub, so gotta give it a go while I'm here. There we go, that's a rod in. Surprisingly shallow water. But if that's where they want to be, then that's fine. Just a single hook bait. See what happens.
it's a barbel. It's a barbel, it's a barbel, it's a barbel. I am stunned, this is my first barbel from this river. Incredible. Took about oh, three minutes to get the bite. Unbelievable fish. My God, that's fantastic. It's amazing, it was chub that I was seeing ghosting around. A couple of barbel thrown in amongst them. Jesus, right, I need to get this fish recovering in the net. Get my mat, have a good look at it. This is amazing stuff. Oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna look after this fish right next to the water here. It's a hot day. I've got plenty of water to splash on it. It's in the running, the running water now. Oh my God. Around here, that's about as rare as it gets. My first one ever from this river. Amazing. A couple of marks, it's gonna need a bit of help from me. That's just incredible. All those chub just ghosting around in the, just off the current, and a barbel sat in it. Mate, you're amazing. That's why we take on hooking mats with us everywhere we go, not just carp fishing. Bit of water, there's the other side. Now please can I ask if you know where this spot is, it's quite recognisable from all the shallows and gravels and that, please don't put it in the comments. If you're part of a club, give these fish maybe a little bit of a break. But yeah, they're here. That's amazing. I've been so careful with it. Just get it back on the mat as soon as it kicks. Right, put it back in the water, a couple of pictures, and we'll let it go. <clears throat> right, this looks good, just off the current. Let's get it the right way up and recovering. It might take a while. Yeah, it's been hot. Looks like it spawned recently. Man, that's incredible. Already forgotten about those mud carp this morning. <laughs> Let's get that mesh off your gob so you get a good mouthful of water. One of the rarest things in a river around here, them. Amazing. Probably more bloody sturgeon or salmon or whatever than these guys. Right, gills are going. A bit longer, I think, though. Oh. Let it recover a little bit longer. Wanting to. Oh yeah, it's kicking, holding itself upright. Gills are going crazy, its mouth's moving like mad. First barbel in this net as well. What a day, what a day. Let's see if I get him over a cord, will he do it? Like a good one. <laughs> Charging off. Yes! Man, do I feel good about that. Great release. Feet are soaking wet. Oh, whatever. First barbel from this river. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna cast back out. Um, some of you might think that's unbelievable having caught a barbel about five minutes of casting out, but 
yeah that fish came in really quickly and it's clearly just spawned uh, i don't think they're spawning now because um yeah i would see them flanking and things and it just weren't all i was seeing was big chub ghosting around i think that was just a very lucky capture knowing how few are in this river very lucky indeed um but yeah as an angler sometimes you've got to do the responsible thing and no um yeah that fish went away strong but maybe the next one won't so yeah stick to my original plan and not fish the river for perhaps another week but god that was amazing my first ever barbel from this river and if i can ask again you're probably getting wind noise now unfortunately i had to take the, the muff off the camera because of the, the hot weather making it overheat but yeah if i can ask you again please don't let anyone know in the comments where this is it is a club stretch of river so anyone can fish here but barbel are so so like to know just um sensitive when it comes to recapture especially at this time of year and although guys like me and probably all of you people watching will massively look after them there are people out there who will just unhook them and slip them back and then they'll go off belly up so yeah man i'm buzzing four carp attention a barbel a pond and a river <laughs> right let's pack this up and get away thank you so much for watching Sorry it took me so long to post a video, but yeah, subscribe if you haven't already. Give the video a thumbs up. I hope your river season starts as well as mine has, and I'll see you next time.